It might be me with the beautiful skin. I don't always have tomato face. So approach me and say hi, thanks for the YouTube channel. <laughs> Mike's Music Method, come on in everybody. As I always say, come on in, welcome, welcome. Today we are doing a Mark Knopfler song. Mark Knopfler is fantastic. This song goes out to Mr. McCabe. My dear friend John McCabe, my childhood friend, his dad is a guitar player. One of the reasons I played guitar as a kid. Um, so here, Mr. McCabe, we're doing some Mark Knopfler. We used to jam to Dire Straits when we would drive to the Michigan Dunes from Chicago. And of course, Money for Nothing and Walk of Life. And we just jam the songs. And uh, man, Mark Knopfler is a heck of a guitar player. We're doing a, a, one of his later solo songs. I forget what year I said, 2009, 2019. I don't know when this record came out. But it's a great finger-picking song. It is not an advanced piece, so you guys can all do this. Sure, it's a little tricky, but um, if you've done even probably the first three or four in the Travis Picking playlist, then you're probably ready to try this one out. It's just the speed that gets tricky. Otherwise, it's not super hard with the right hand. Really beautiful. Um, the part isn't even that clever. Like, you'll know these chord shapes, they happen in all these older kind of folk songs. But his playing is so good. He's got such um, precision and an emotion in it. And the way he makes it feel is just beautiful. But I will stop rambling. Mark Knopfler, get lucky. Let's do it. Besides, And besides going out to Mr. McCabe, it was also requested by someone out there. And I keep saying I'll write your names down. But you know who you are. Thank you so much for this request. Here you go. And more of you out there, keep requesting songs. You'd be surprised that most on my to-do list right now are your requests. So keep the requests coming and I'll keep getting to them. Use the timestamps below so you don't have to listen to me ramble. The timestamps are down there for people eager to jump ahead. The slow run-throughs are all at the end. So if you're a more advanced player, download the free tab right now, mikesmusicmethod.com. Unbelievable, it's free, who does that? And so if you're an advanced player, get the tab downloaded, jump to the end with the slow run-throughs and just see if you can do it. For the rest of you mortals, beginners, intermediate players, I will take you through it step by step, measure by measure, and, and we're going to tackle this song. I, I promise by the end of this video and maybe several months time, no matter what your skill level is, you can do it, including you, Mr. McCabe. So let's do it. <laughs> measure one, remember, we got capo four, and we just have a G chord. All you need and the way you should do it, because you'll get stuck if you don't finger it this way, and the next measure um, is ring finger is on three, pinky is on three. That's it, just those two fingers. That's all I'm playing there. And I am picking. Thumb is alone on six. Then I'm pinching four and two with my thumb and pointer finger. Then we're gonna do thumb on six again, and then the middle finger is gonna play the first string. Two, we go to a C slash G chord, which means from that G chord, we're kind of putting these two down like they would be in a C chord. Middle finger goes second fret on the, on the D string, and then pointer goes first fret on the B string. In other words, it's a C chord with the pinky down there, but then the ring finger is up one. So a C slash G, it just means the G is in the bass. Really cool measure here. We are doing thumb on six, pointer on two, and then thumb on four. Then after that, we're pinching six and one, thumb and middle. One more time. And then we've got a heavy thumb. It's playing four and three. Don't be too particular, but he's, he's definitely hitting more than just the fourth string there. And then immediately he's hitting the pointer finger on the second string. So that whole measure, three, four. Then measure three is really similar. We're on the same chord. It's actually almost exactly the same. Except I'm not hearing that big heavy thumb there. He's giving that part less emphasis. Emphasize. And then measure four, a little different. 
chord still stays down the same. Thumb on six, thumb on four, and then I'm gonna move my middle finger down to the G string, to the third string on the second fret. Because I'm gonna pinch there the thumb and the pointer finger, six and three. And then the thumb alone on four, but now that four is gonna sound open because I've moved that middle finger down. So I gotta move it. I'm doing six, four, and then I move it. Might feel a little strange. I suppose you could move your first finger in there, but that just feels weird because then you gotta do an extra lift. So I'm keeping that chord down, doing six, four, moving that middle finger down and pinching six and three. Then the thumb is alone on four, singing it open. Measure five. I think that's exactly the same as one, isn't it? Yes, it is. And six is almost the same as two. Except we just got a really big heavy thumb and then no note afterwards, no and beat on that fourth beat. One and two. Three, four. Measure seven is a little different. Thumb on six, thumb on four, and then it's six, one. I did thumb middle, and then thumb on four, pointer on three. Pretty easy. And then let's end it. Measure eight was just six, two, four, and that's thumb, pointer, thumb. Then I'm pinching six and one with thumb and middle, and then thumb alone on four. Time for the donation pitch to all my patrons. Holy cow, thank you guys so much. Every month there's people chipping in, you know, a couple more bucks and it's it's unbelievable. I hope you guys um, will just know how much I appreciate it. I appreciate it. A moment, two moments of silence. Okay, that's it, because we have songs to learn. But thank you so much. To those who aren't donating, here's my little pitch. I promise to always keep all of this content free. My tabs are free. I have nothing behind a paywall. And it's the value for value model, which means if you're getting value from these videos, consider what they are worth to you. Maybe that's a, a math. Maybe that's five bucks a video. Maybe it's a hundred bucks a month, like private guitar, guitar lessons would be 160 bucks a month. Maybe it's a dollar a month. I don't know what the value is for you, but consider the value for value model. And then the more of you guys pitch in, you're simply just buying me more time to make more of these. And the beautiful thing about it is that if there's some young 16 year old out there or some you know older guy who's hard on luck and doesn't have the funds or has all sorts of other things to pay for. Well, guess what? They don't have to pay for it. The content is still free and available to everybody. So if you can help out, just think of it as a charitable donation. You're helping me keep the lights on and, and pay for my internet, but you're also helping everyone else on the internet get these videos for free, not behind a paywall. And I promise to keep them coming. And it's a promise to always have the content free. And I'll keep doing good work as long as I'm here on God's green earth. All right, let's keep going with the song later. <laughs> let's do one through eight, nice and slow all together here. One, two, three, four. I can move the camera up to talk to you. That's neat. Look at this tripod coming to coming in handy. Thanks, cheap tripod. You're, you're doing you're doing your job for once. All right. So two things to note on that intro. One is um, he's mixing it up all of the time. Uh, like sometimes he'll it repeats. So when he repeats it and does it later in the song, not always exactly the same. He's taking some liberty in the right hand pattern. So that might mean he's using like the rhythm from measure to one to play the part on measure three or something. So you don't have to obsess on it. You can just play it that one way and it sounds great, but also feel free to take some creative liberty when you're playing it. And the second thing that I should have said earlier is to just pay attention to when exactly the chord changes from that C to G to C. It doesn't always necessarily happen right at the beginning of the measure, um, but I'm, sh I'm sure you'll take note of that. You want all the notes to be legato so just because it's the new measure doesn't mean you necessarily put the chord down right away. Um, let's actually discuss because that is super important. So for measure one, it's not like I'm changing my chord right there. Right, I'm hitting the sixth string first because I want these previous notes that open open and measure at the end of measure one to ring out to the last possible second. So I hit that six and then I put down the next chord of the measure. Two ring out 
And then when I go into measure five, I'm still letting that two ring. Even though it's a G chord, I hit that six, then I finally lift it. So I'm waiting till the last possible moment to get it as smooth and legato and rich and full as possible. Now you're just looking at my sunburnt thighs. Quit looking at my beautiful sunburnt thighs. You guys rock from measure nine. We are gonna breeze through this verse and then we will sing it together in a moment, but let's learn all the parts. Real straightforward, we got thumb alone on six. Then I'm pinching four and two. And here I am using my middle finger because right after that four and two pinch with my middle, I'm gonna do six, three, four with my pointer there, thumb. the same as 11 12 the sparse one and then the busier one and then 13 starts the same way but then we go to that C slash G chord sorry I've got an old watch like in my closet beeping at us and we got that uh, six then I'm pinching four and two and I'm doing six three four two and that's thumb pointer at the tab. Remember, all the tabs, mikesmusicmethod.com, they're all free to download. Free, totally free. You don't even have to give me your email if you don't want to. Totally free. Who does that? What a, what a goof. So they're all free. Go download them so you can follow along because I know this little tab here on the screen is not the best thing. So please go follow along with all them. So lots of repeats until we get to 27. And then we have a G7 voiced in this really cool way. So instead of playing the F up here, like a normal G7 chord, we have this neat one where our pinky is playing the third fret of the D string, the fourth string. And it sounds like this. Thumb alone on six, pinch four and two. I'm using my thumb in my middle. And then here I'm doing six, three, four, two. And that is thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. And then measure 23 is a C chord. I'm doing five, pinching four and two. Then we're gonna do, uh, move my ring finger up to get the third fret on the sixth string. And it's six, three, four, two, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. Back to the same thing, except a little bit sparser, just thumb, pinch, thumb, and thumb. I know we're rushing through this, and if you're lost, don't worry. I just wanna show you all the parts and then we'll sing it. And it'll be easier when you have the words to get all the transitions down. 25 is a repeat, same with 26. I wonder about the happiness and money. Tell it to the bread line. The way he sings this is so relaxed and... Ah, this song is good, guys. This song is good. Whew. Measure 27, a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. A few different ways to play it. You can play it with your thumb on that F sharp, or you can play with your middle finger on that F sharp. One thing to note is we're not playing the high E string. So your melodic note needs to be the third fret, the first, and open all on that B string, all on that second string. So you can finger it this way, which is middle on the second fret, then your ring finger, second fret of the G string, pinky on the third fret of the second, or you can use your thumb, and if you do it that way, you got thumb, then you have your middle finger on the second fret of the third string. Then your ring finger or pinky can play that third fret. And that'll leave your point. 
designer for you to get the first fret. Whatever works best for you. I play it diff I actually play it differently on different guitars. Um, wider neck guitars, sometimes I will just use one of these fingers instead of my thumb because it's like on a classical guitar, it's harder to reach around. But whatever works for you. So we've got thumb alone. Then I'm pinching four and two. And that second string is sounding that third fret. to get that third string because it's gonna sound open here. We're gonna pinch six and three. I know it sounds dissonant right now. It's beautiful in the context of the song though. So you have that dissonance. You have open on the third string with the six string thumb. Then your thumb goes to four. So let's do that again. And then lift it. And then we immediately hit the third string again with our pointer finger. And he's gonna hammer right back onto the second fret. But I call it a compound movement because when you hammer, your thumb also sounds the sixth string. You're also plucking that sixth string. So if you haven't seen this trick before, you're gonna have to practice it for a while. It kind of fries your brain because what's that extra sound coming from? Shouldn't I be doing another finger? But it's the hammer on sounding one note and your thumb doing another. So that's just the hammer on and that's just the thumb right when it hammers on. I think you guys got it, so that whole measure Sound like, sorry, now it's going to sound like a D7 chord there. So the thumb had to have the hammer on, and then I'm pinching four and two. I'm using my thumb in middle now to get that first fret sounding on that second string. And then I do six, three, and then thumb on four, and I do three again, but I lift it to sound open. So that's the ending. Six, three, four, three, six, three. from 25, 6, 7, real slow here. Three, four. feeling that's gonna be tricky for a lot of you so don't attempt to do it all at once go really slow make sure you got that hammer on idea down and I mean obsess on it when I say go slow go slow that one concept if it's new to you it might take you 7 14 21 days well I'm counting by sevens 23 and a half days I don't know how long it's gonna take but that is totally normal and don't get discouraged if this one little part is tripping you up when you're practicing the whole thing just ignore the hammer-ons for now, but practice those hammer-ons as a separate thing until you really get them down. They're not just going to snap into place magically. Obsess over the difficult parts. Whew. Measure 30. We're almost there, and then we'll put in the lyrics and, and put it all in context. Simple pattern on G. Then this one's weird. It's a C chord, but I'm really only hearing it play up high there. And I'm just hearing a C chord, but I'm hearing the fourth string. Heavy, so he's hitting like three and two there, and then four, three. So four, heavy, four, three, just simple thumb work. And 33, we go to an A minor chord. Thumb alone on five, pinch four and two, thumb in middle. And then it's thumb, pointer thumb at the end, five, three, four. And then measure 34, it's just thumb on five. super accurate about it and then thumb again on five and then he lifts the chord up and he's just hitting three and two both of them open then he goes to a c chord we've got thumb on five pinching four and two with thumb and middle and then he moves that ring finger 
finger up to the sixth string and he does six, three, four, which was thumb, pointer, thumb. And the last one here, 36. Now, <laughs> I did something sneaky there. Mark Knopfler is not actually playing that part. There's a lead guitar, but it, it like is so loud there that I just wanted to incorporate it in the melody because it's such a cool part of the song and it's not that hard to put into the picking pattern and it makes it sound more like what your ear is, is picking up on on the record, even though it's a second guitar. If it's too hard for you, I don't think it will be. If it's too hard, just repeat the previous measure. But here is 36. We're pinching five and one with thumb and middle, then the thumbs alone on four. Then we move our ring finger up to the sixth string and we do six, one with thumb, middle. And then you do four and then the second string, but I'm putting my pinky down on the third fret of the second string. I think. T-shirt change. All right, let's sing it from nine really slow. One, two, three, four. I'm better with my muscles than I am with my mouth. I work the fairgrounds in the summer, go picking fruit down south. And when I feel them chilly winds, the goes I follow Pack up my traveling things Go with the swallows I might get lucky now and then You win some Might get lucky now and then You win some Some. <laughs> I put that winsome in there too soon. You guys get the idea. I need to rehearse this song a lot more, but I wanted to give you, you know, an, an opportunity to follow along with the tab and see where those lyrics are. Feel free to write up the lyrics on your chart. Yeah, let's keep going. After that part, we go back to the intro, do another verse, but now let's jump to the bridge, measure 37 in the tab. That's free to download at mikesmusicmethod.com. We're on a B minor chord. Thumb alone on five, pinching four and two with thumb and middle. And then I'm doing five, three, four, two, which is thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. So that's 37. Into 38, very similar, starts the same. Actually exactly the same, except there's no and beat on that four. One, two, three, and four. Then we go to an E minor, but check this out. I'm, he's only playing it up high. And there's a couple of guitars here and it's buried in the background, so it's hard to say exactly what's going on, but this is pretty darn close. Got an E minor, but I'm only playing the second fret on the fourth string. I'm not worrying about fretting the lower strings. So I got fourth string, pinching three and one with thumb and middle. And then I'm doing four, two, three, one, which is thumb, pointer, thumb, middle. So that whole measure. And then it continues the same into 40. But then we descend the bass line. We lift our middle finger and we do four, two, three. Thumb, pointer, thumb. So let's do those two measures together there. 40 and 39. Three, four. And to a C chord here in 41. five, pinch four and two, then it's five, three, four, two. Hearing the chord lifted there, I'm not, again, one of those notes I'm not sure about because it's so buried. So that second string is open at the very end to transition into the, G, the, 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 the G chord. And there I'm doing what we've seen a million times before in the song, I don't have to explain it. Then a little bit of a different thing happening here in 43. We go to that D slash F sharp chord, however you want to play it. 
6, pinch 4, and 2. That's the third fret there, D chord. And then it is 6, 3, 4, 2. Thumb pointer, thumb middle. Next measure is sparse, 44. Thumb, 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 middle, thumb. And the strings are 6, 4, 6, 2, 4. Sorry, it should have been a D7. So we lift that pinky and we have that first fret on uh, the second string for this measure. Sorry about that. So that's that measure there, 44. Then 45, right back to a G. And then 46, thumb, 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 pointer, thumb. Victory! Yes, you did it. That's it. We'll do some slow run-throughs at the end, but you got it. What? Look at look, my face is always so red in this webcam for some reason. My my wife, when she occasionally you know pops in and just to see what I'm doing in these videos, what are you doing down there in the basement all the time? <laughs> and she'll occasionally watch one and say, "Hey, why does your face look so red? It looks like you have tomato face." I swear I don't have tomato face in real life. There's something with the webcam or the lighting. I don't know what's going on. If you're a lighting professional, please comment below to help me. Help me, okay? Email me and help me out here so I don't have tomato face. I don't even know what I was talking about. Down here in the basement, tomato face. I don't know. But but when you meet me, no one's ever going to know. They'll be like, ah, oh, I think I learned YouTube from that guy. No, no, no. That guy's skin is way too beautiful. Mike has tomato face. So go up to the guy with beautiful skin. It might actually be me. I might be that guy with beautiful skin who looks like me at, at the, you know, playing at the playground with his kids. It might be me with the beautiful skin. I don't always have tomato face. So approach me and say, hi, thanks for the YouTube channel. We did it. Let's do some slow run-throughs. You made it. Congratulations. Here we go. Nice and slow run-through from the top at 95 BPM. One, two, three, four. that would repeat another verse there with that and then the weird instrumental part but the bridge measure 37 at about 254 in the song one two three four
It might be me with the beautiful skin.